Hey everybody and welcome to Truck King. So behind me, this is the 2500 HD Sierra with the diesel package, but it's also got a surprise. It's now coming with the AT4X package, off-road. And that's what we're gonna do right now. GMC has been calling itself professional grade for more than a decade now. And what makes that message very clear is that its trucks are serious work machines. However, for much of this past decade, the interior look and decor of those trucks was lackluster. Today, that's all changed. GMC is looking to stake the high ground with aggressive off-road builds, such as AT4 and AT4X, but along with that are new interior appointments with which they want to lead the market. So despite these being HD trucks, GMC is offering all the luxury conveniences that you'd expect in a light duty truck. And many of these updates are currently best in class. We're doing an off-road bit right now in the heavy duty Sierra. So this is 2500 series, 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel, and it has the AT4X package. And that's really what this is all about right now, is trying to show off, and well, doing a pretty good job of it, that you can take a heavy duty off-road. now. I do not think for a minute that GMC is suggesting that you buy one of these to go recreational wheeling <laughs> on the weekends. However, there truly is a usage case for this truck. If you're already a heavy duty customer, uh, probably because you tow regularly, but also because you're working in remote locations, well, let's face it, the ATX4 is going to give you that rear locker, it's gonna give you a bit of a lift, it's gonna give you a hill descent control, and other things that are gonna help you in the off-road. Not because you're necessarily going off-roading, but because you have to go off-road to get, you know, done whatever it is you do. The other thing, that I think buyers are gonna appreciate on this truck is the addition of the AEV package. And with that comes an integrated winch. Now, we've been after Power Wagon, of course, for eons to give us a diesel powered Ram in the Power Wagon that also has a winch. They haven't figured out how to do it yet. So if you want that diesel and you want the winch, well, now you've got it. This package is now available on the GMC. So if you buy an HD truck, you already tow. And it's important to have a look at these numbers because one of the things you are getting with the AT4X is slightly lower numbers. Because of the suspension setup, because of the the tires that you're getting on this truck, you're looking at 18.5 as your max conventional tow rating. And as far as payload is concerned, um, 24.99. Yep, they couldn't give you that extra pound, eh? No. 24.99. No, they like to be accurate, but at <laughs> least, uh, you know, it's on the door jam sticker, so you can check it, which is what I just did. And I think that's really where you notice it because frankly, I would expect, I mean, on an HD truck, I would expect certainly a little more payload than that. So you are losing, I figure, a couple of hundred pounds anyway um, uh, due to the suspension changes. The other thing that's really good about this AEV package are these steel bumpers. 
uh, let's face it, you're going to bang into things, particularly uh, if you live in our part of the world where there's always these pesky trees that jump out in front of you. So considering what it costs to replace a standard bumper these days, the idea of having a steel bumper, yeah, I like that. And I even like the idea that AEV has been smart enough to taper the edges, the departure angle, on the front as well as at the rear because that is typically those corners is, is most likely to get damaged. Now, if you do actually really give it a good whack, enough so that you've bent it, you can replace in the front just those corners because the two little wings are actually slightly separate. You can take them off, replace it. You don't have to do the whole bumper. Now what GMC's got us doing out here in Montana today is up and down some incredibly steep inclines. And sometimes it doesn't translate on camera. Uh, we're definitely doing things 25, 30 degrees, which I'm telling you feels pretty significant and is probably realistic uh, for real world usage. Um, now the truck has decent approach and departure already. However, with the AEV package, it's even better. And we'll put those numbers up here so you can see that. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get hung up, chances are you'll get in and get out of wherever it is you're trying to, to get to. Or um, to get in and as well as your trailer, whatever it is that you're dragging into that off-site location. Obsidian Rush Interior, exclusive to Sierra HD AT4X. The Obsidian Rush interior is designed to tackle that tough terrain in comfort and style. For instance, you'll see red and white double needle stitching, and this gives the interior an athletic look. You'll also notice real Vantage wood. This is expertly installed across the dash. The truck has 16-way power front seats with a massaging feature. These are best in class. Also, these leather seats are heated and ventilated. The AT4, on the other hand, is dressed in a jet black with Kalahari accents and comes with leather-wrapped heated steering wheel. All the trucks come with premium all-weather floor liners with removable carpet inserts. Sierra Heavy Duty also includes a new world of advanced technology with up to 14 available camera views to help you tow your world. Inside, you'll see a 13.4-inch diagonal tablet-style touchscreen, again, largest in its class. It's fully customizable. The Driver Information Center is a 12.3 diagonal digital control and infotainment center. So that's a long list of the unique appointments inside this GMC HD. But... For someone who's just spent a day driving it up and down the mountain, certainly uh, I was a little busy picking through rocks to pay too much attention other than the fact that I just kept noticing that anything I wanted to do, such as the camera views, which help you get to where you're going, such as the comfort, the quiet, um, just the overall decor of that interior, I don't think I've been in too many trucks that look as good and that is certainly to GM's credit after many years of not so great interiors. I think one of the things that sticks with me is that a heavy duty pickup is meant for work and sometimes when we get work trucks we tend to think that they should be more basic simply because they're work trucks but we're moving in a different direction now and guys are buying them so they obviously agree which is that you may be towing and hauling and getting in and out of a job site but why do you have to have a bare bones truck well these are anything but and they certainly look good so we're coming to the end of this one, folks. We've had the 2500 AT4X off-road, and specifically with the AEV package. Now, this one right here is not AEV. 
It does have the off-road goodies, but isn't that really what this is all about? You buy a heavy-duty truck because you've got a specific work case that you need dealt with. And towing is one of the biggest deals. But if you can get those off-road goodies on there, well, then that just gives you more access to more difficult locations. And I think that's what we've shown here today. But hey, listen, I want to hear what you got to think of what General Motors is doing to really, really come up in the world in this off-road segment. So that's it, folks. Now go below, hit like, hit subscribe, join, become a member of our channel, and then come back real soon because we got more trucks to drive.